hi guys so in this section what i will cover is key clock two factor authentication now we have seen that in the last section uh, let me show you again quickly in last section what we have seen is with javascript and node.js backend we were able to log into the application now it's not even asking if you log out and come it will ask you for the authentication and you were able to do a single authentication i mean where it is redirecting to your key clock server and then you were able to log into the application you were also able to invoke your services in the backend and was able to get a secret message now what we will do in this particular section is when we are logging we will be having two-factor authentication now what is two-factor authentication it will be having uh, one more layer of authentication now i will do a connection from here and then we will get one time password in my mobile and eventually uh, we will see how this will work now there are two ways to do this uh, just uh, uh, to say you one is you can use a uh, Google Authenticator or a free OTP any of this is fine and what are the steps to do so I will show you so the same application where we were sitting which means local host 8000 is what we will be using and at the end of this particular section you will be able to do two-factor authentication so that is what you need to remember for this okay now how to do this what we need to do for that is first we will go and make sure that we are in my realm in the realm where we are working now in this particular section you want to do a two-factor authentication so to do so what will you do you will go to the authentication tab where is authentication tab this is the authentication tab in the authentication tab you need to go to required action in the required action you will see configure OTP so what you can do is you can keep it as a default action so for all it will be by default enabled okay so this is the first step after this first step what you have to do is you have to enforce an existing user to configure the OTP how will you do that you have to go to the user section you have for me Shantanu was the user with which we will log into the application so what I will do is I will go here there is a section here in the details of user section you need to go to required action and you need to enable this as configure OTP right once you enable this you just need to save this okay once this is saved you have to now go to authentication back again and you need to see what is the OTP policy so if the OTP policy is counter based change it to time based by default it should be time based it is a SHA algorithm number of digits is 6 and look ahead in window is 1 OTP token period is 30 seconds okay so this is what you need to save it it can be free OTP or Google Authenticator okay anything you can download in your mobile now let me show you from where you will be downloading you can just go to Google Authenticator so this is what you should be doing in your mobile or anywhere you want to do okay so basically the idea is this authenticator will be getting the code and we will be typing that code from uh, my mobile basically I will be loading it in my mobile you can do it in iPad or anywhere you want to do so because these are the apps so it's better to load it into the mobile so this is one thing otherwise you can go to free OTP little bit old uh, but I, I prefer uh, Google Authenticator you can do I mean as you want so you can also take the free OTP 
uh, and then uh, we will do this two-factor authentication okay so let's move to the next section